Title, Aid Ambush Food donations take a detour in Ethiopia, UN and US hit the pause button. TLDR World Food Program, WFP, and you said call it quits on food aid in Ethiopia, thanks to sneaky theft of donations. While we're still in the dark about the specifics, it looks like these provisions may have been heading to Ethiopian military units rather than the needy. Imagine feeding a soldier when you thought you were feeding a starving child. Let's dive in to see what this means for the millions relying on this aid. While most of us are enjoying our snacks in peace, an astounding 20 million peeps in Ethiopia are left staring at empty plates, hungry and desperate for help. But who's the culprit leaving them high and dry? The usual suspects, drought and conflict, are wreaking havoc but there's a plot twist. The food aid designated to help these folks is allegedly getting a first-class ticket to the military instead. Just picture it, you're digging deep into your pockets, sending food to a starving person in Ethiopia, but the plate ends up with a soldier instead. Bizarre, isn't it? The United Nations World Food Program, WFP, and United States Agency for International Development, you said, thought so too, and have slammed on the brakes to figure out what's going on. Both WFP and USAID are staying tight-lipped about the details of this aid diversion. But, whispers in the corridors hint that Ethiopian military units might be enjoying the spoils, in a move organized by federal and regional government entities. The WFP and USAID, the big daddies of humanitarian assistance, shelling out support to 7 million people and contributing a whopping $1.8 billion respectively, are understandably peeved. They didn't sign up to be part of a military meal plan. So, they're hitting the pause button until they sort this mess out. But what about those 20 million folks relying on this assistance? WFP assures they're top of mind, promising to resume operations ASAP. Now, here's the crux. While the authorities in Ethiopia play their version of he said, she said, millions are going hungry. This is not just a story of stolen aid. It's a story of stolen hope, stolen chances to fight back against hunger. This calls for a moment of introspection. Are our humanitarian efforts being thwarted by sinister plots? And if so, what can be done to ensure our aid reaches its rightful destination? Disclaimer, this article does not recommend any form of action or investment. It's just here to raise questions and provoke thought. Remember, Turned Up News is all about shedding light and sparking discussions, not guiding decisions. Now it's your turn, dear reader. As we end this tale of intrigue and diversion, we're curious, what can we as individuals and a global community, do to ensure the right people get the aid they desperately need. What would your solution be to aid diversions? Let us know.